Hello, hello, and welcome to Learn Redstone with me. I'm your host, Blends. Let's get started. All right, today we're going to be making a dropper elevator. Now, this is going to take items from this chest and bring it up to here. You don't necessarily have to use chests, but we're just going to use that just to show you how it's done. All right, let's get started. All right, once you figure out where you want to put this, you're going to put a dropper face up, and then you're just going to keep going up with however many droppers you need. Let's just go up that many. I don't know. What is that, eight? Yeah, we're going to do eight. Let's... <laughs> Let's do it. So on the bottom one, this is going to be your input dropper. So you're going to hold shift and put a hopper right there. Now you can use a chest to put the items in a hopper or you can use, you know, water stream or whatever, however you want to do it. So go ahead and put whatever. I'm just going to use a chest there, put a chest there, and then go ahead and put a chest at the very top. Oops. Put a chest at the very top where your items are going to come out. And again, this can just shoot them up into a water stream if you want to do something like that. And then all you got to do is come over here. You're going to take a comparator. And you're going to put it right here. Now, what that's going to do is once you put an item in this chest, it's going to go in that hopper and go into this dropper right here. And this comparator is going to see that there's something in there. It's going to give it a signal. And then you need to take that signal and put it into this block right here. Now, on this side, you're going to put a redstone torch. Now, this is where you're going to be building a uh, hopper clock. So you can put a hopper down just right behind that torch, just like that. You're actually going to be getting rid of that one. So it can be any block that you want to put down. And then you're going to put a hopper facing into that one. Now you hold down shift to do that and now you can see that this hopper is actually facing into this one what you need to do is get rid of this one here and then face that hopper into that so they're actually going back and forth into each other now what that does is you're going to put an item in here and that item is just going to stay there because that redstone torch is actually powering this hopper which actually stops that hopper from working now once you get rid of that signal which i'm just going to break the redstone lamp here you can do that and you can see that a hopper just goes back and forth that is a clock Every time that this uh, hopper gets into this one, it gives off the signal. So we're going to go ahead and put that redstone torch back and grab our item out of there again. And we are going to basically do the exact same system on this side here. So this hopper, when that gets a signal in it, is going to come out of that comparator. You're going to put it into this stone block. It doesn't need to be stone. Any solid block works. And you put a redstone torch right there. All right. Now here's the easy part. You put a solid block on top of that redstone torch. And then on this side of the torch, you're going to put this redstone block here, or redstone torch here. And if you heard that click in there, that uh, means that it actually is powering both of these right here because it powers this block and the one below it. And then on this side, you're going to put another redstone torch there. And you're going to notice that those are turning off because this one right here is powering this block. So it inverts these two. It actually turns those off. And then all you got to do is basically repeat that entire thing. You're going to put in another solid block up there. Put your redstone torch here. Put another solid block on top of that one. Put another redstone torch on here, which is going to activate this one and this one. And then another one here. And then do that again. Put another block. Another redstone torch. Another block. Another torch. Another torch. That is activating this one and this one. And you got two more to go, so we got to do this one more time. Put a block. Put a torch. Put a block. And then a torch, which activates both of these. Now, this one doesn't need to go up any higher, so you actually don't need this one right here. It actually doesn't do anything, because it's just going to power, well, nothing. There's nothing there, so you don't need that one on the very top. But this is actually all you need to do, except you need to give this an item in here. So we're just going to go ahead and put one stone in there, and that is now locked. So when you put items in here, it's just going to activate it all, and they're all going to come up here. Now, I'm going to explain it one more time real quick for you. Item in here goes into this hopper, goes into this dropper. This dropper gives this comparator a signal, which turns off this redstone torch, which starts the clock, which gives one signal to this comparator, which starts this whole thing here. So it turns that one off and turns these on, which powers those two, which turns that one off, and then turns these one on and powers these two, and then so on and so forth, all the way up to the top until everything lands back up there. Let's watch it in action. I'm going to put 64 coarse dirt in there, and you're going to see all of these going. And it is totally silent, I'm getting right up next to it. Can't hear a thing. All of your items just end up right over here. And that is it. That is your drop pervader. Items are going all the way up to here. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. See you later.